as promised, here are a couple of areas where you can go do some research on TCP IP. Uh, this is a website here. Uh, this is just understanding TCP IP on TechFAQ. And it is a very good article, a very thorough article on understanding TCP IP. Uh, I'm going to get um, past the ads here. Uh, you notice here that it's going to take us through and show us the protocol, uh, the uh, protocol process. Uh, we're going to talk about how the data is broken into smaller packets. So you're going to see what the packet is made up of, uh, what, what is contained within that packet. You notice here is a seven layer OSI model. And it does talk to us about, which uh, is far more important in our understanding of what we need to do. We do get down here eventually, and we talk about the TCP IP suite, okay? And we discuss how that functions. And you gotta love those advertisements that pop up. So this is, here's your four layer TCP IP. Uh, this is what, what you're gonna spend most of your time and you need to fully understand. So this is a good article. Now another, there's another video here called TCP IP for Security Administrators. Uh, this was uh, uh, done by Steve Riley uh, with Microsoft. It's a good, uh, uh, it's a good video. It's a little over an hour long. Uh, it is free. Uh, you can just type in uh, TCP IP for Security Administrators and this should pop up number one. It did for me. Uh, I'm just gonna play just a short snippet of this um, specific video uh, just to give you an idea of kind of what it entails uh, but uh, obviously we're not going to show the whole one hour and seven minute video here you can do that on your own very frequently i get this question from people steve how can i become a security expert people ask me this what do they need to know to be good at security I think it's I think it's very important that to be a good security person, you be a good network person. To be a good networking person, you need to have a very thorough understanding of the protocol. The reason why you need to have a very good understanding of the protocol is because, as it says in the bottom of the RFC, we have IP, TCP, and UDP. This protocol was designed without security in mind. It's actually so as Steve just shared with you here, uh, understanding TCP IP, uh, TCP UDP uh, is vitally important to understanding and becoming a good security, uh, good security guy. Uh, so he's recommending you to be a good network fella, and uh, or gal, I shouldn't just say fella. So anyways, uh, take the time to make sure that you have a thorough understanding of TCP and UDP, uh, not just oh, the three-way handshake, that's all I need to know. Understand a little bit more in depth, uh, comprehend exactly what's going on, because you're going to run into hackers that fully comprehend the TCP suite, and they will manipulate that thing in ways that you have never even dreamed of, uh, the way that they, that they create packets. I'm going to share a couple of, uh, of true stories of uh, a couple things that my colleagues and I have done or performed, and um, it will be useful for you to just at least understand what the capabilities are of some individuals out there. So that's it for the demos. We will move on to the next slide.